Julie's bicycle started in 2007 as originally an um, initiative of the music industry, and since then we've been working um, increasingly with all the different types of arts forms, from small little venues and theatres to big, large commercial festivals. You might think, okay, well, the arts and cultural sector, hmm, do we really have such a big impact compared to, com to big mining companies, to utilities companies? But the thing, and one of the fundamental things that like, that Jews Bicycles believes is that the sector, the arts and cultural sector, really has um, an amazing resource in its creativity and the reach that it has to its audience and the communities with, with the works with which it works. And this is at the core of what, we, what we're trying to do, working with the arts and cultural organisations. And you can see here, in the last 10 years in particular, the arts and cultural sector has been doing an increasing amount of really interesting and thought-provoking work. And certainly from our experience and what we see, the results of what's coming out is actually combined to be bigger than the sum of its parts. So when we started in 2007, we took a small step. And it's based on the idea that understanding is the first step to action. So we looked at the music sector and tried to understand what the current impacts are to see you know, what should we be doing to reduce those impacts. And over the last few years, we've, take, we've developed lots of simple steps and small things to get companies and, and organisations started. Because sometimes environmental issues can be very overwhelming, especially when we don't have a lot of resource. In the last couple of years in particular, we've really been starting to look at the bigger picture and to scale things up, working and um, bringing together different groups of organisations and looking really at the bigger questions, what are the bigger steps that the arts and cultural sector can take. There's just a few examples of the kind of projects that we're working on at the moment where we're really beginning to see some really exciting things and things happening at a, on, a, on a larger scale. The Arts Council, we work with the Arts Council England, which in 2012 made a, a fund, um, environmental reporting a funding requirement for the organisations which it funds. And we're working with the Arts Council and 700 of their funded organisations to get some simple steps in place to find out, understand what their impacts are and what they can do about it. But bringing all of that information together will be really powerful. We'll have a lot more information to be able to inform decision making, what Arts Council is setting as its own strategy and really try and achieve change on a bigger scale. Uh, another project that we've just started really recently is a European project with um, uh, funding from the European Commission of about 10 million. Fortunately, not that much of it is for us, not at all. But um, we're working um, with eight partners in 10 different countries and it's really exciting. We have an awful lot of experience with the music sector, but we're working together now with a range of organisations in different countries to really scale this up and audience reach is one of the key points of this project. So that's some examples of the kind of things that we're doing and I'm just going to give you three small examples of some of the organisations that we work with. Um, Gladborn, um, we've been working with them for a few years. They, um, they've taken lots of small steps, you know, they're installing LED lighting in their venue. But um, in 2011, after a long and hard battle, their wind turbine started to turn. And they are now in a position that they're getting most of their electricity needs from this wind turbine. It was a really difficult project for them. And it, um, but they decided it was really important for their financial stability to be able to ensure the employment of their staff. And also, it's proven to be a fantastic way of engaging with their audience and with their local community, raising awareness about wind power. It wasn't an easy thing to do, and it sends out a really powerful message. Uh, this is a, another um, fantastic project. Um, we've been working with Central School Speech and Drama for the last year. They have been doing some stuff looking at their buildings and what they could do to reduce energy use. 
And now we've got a program with them that really get into the heart of what they do, looking at sustainability and the work with the students on sustainable production and integrating sustainability into their curriculum. Which is really exciting because ultimately they've gone from taking some small steps to actually educating and creating the capacity to deal with environmental issues amongst the professionals of the future. And this third and last example is um, the Newcastle Gateshead cultural venues. There's 10 venues that have come together in Newcastle to work together. They work on lots of different topics and environment is one of their big topics. And they really, um, individually, some of those organisations are taking very small steps. Some of them, like the Sage Gateshead, are taking and really showing leadership on sustainability. So they're by working together, they're sharing the resources, they're learning from each other, and they're also combining their initiatives to work, for example, with the transport network in the city, and they've got a big focus also on awareness raising with their audience. So, to get back to my question, for me, I'm going to add to my own question. <laughs> um, I think it's really important to have small steps. It makes us feel that we can do something. And small steps can lead to bigger change. But I do think it's also really important that we start to focus more on some bigger and more innovative solutions. And I think that the art sector, arts and cultural sector, has a fantastic opportunity to do that using the resources and creativity that it has and using the audience reach. And we are seeing already, instead of you know just being despairing about the state of the environment and the rubbish policy makers, that some arts and cultural organisations are already doing that. They're just getting on with it. They're doing really interesting stuff that's leading to positive change on a small and big level. 